Hey everyone, happy Wet Wednesday. Um, so as you can see, I'm back at the clinic. Woo! And um, as promised, I have that special surprise for you. Um, and it is, um, I've actually enlisted one of our student workers to select a pathogen that we have yet to cover in one of our Wet Wednesday videos. And she's actually going to give the what question and um, she's gonna give you some much needed information on it. So I'm gonna let Sophia Murphy take it from here and I really hope you enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to What Wednesday. Today I will be answering the question, what is verticillium wilt? So verticillium lives in, is a fungus that lives in the soil and it infects the roots of the plant um, through wounds. So your plant has to be wounded in order to get infected. And so the fungus will travel through the vascular tissue um, of the plant up into the rest of the plant, where it will first cause the leaves to turn yellow, then red, then eventually brown and fall off. And then it will have stem or branch dieback, so only parts of the plant will die, and eventually the whole plant dies. An obvious pointer to verticillium is that if you peel back the branch uh, or the bark on your uh, plant, you can sometimes see streaming on the bark and it's like a darker color than the rest of the wood and I can show you a closer up picture later on in the video. So um, verticillium to be identified has to be done in our lab where we will look at the roots to see microsclerotia and if we do, we do observe them, we'll take root tissue and put it on some media and let it grow and then we can observe more microsclerotia, uh, we can observe the special conidia force, so the branching conidia force that is an obvious pointer to verticillium wilt and the conidia and I will show you pictures of all of those. So when you look under the bark of the plant tissue, you, as you can see these dark patches of vascular streaking is um, left by the verticillium uh, on the woody tissue of the plant. So these uh, dark dots on the um, microscope slide, as you can see, are the microsclerotia of the verticillium that we would see in, on a plate. As you can see here, these are hyphae uh, forming conidia fours uh, from the verticillium, and these uh, branched um, conidia fours are really uh, characteristic of verticillium wilt. Wow, thank you, Sophia. That was some great information on verticillium wilt. And you may be wondering if your plant does get infected with this particular type of fungus, um, what to do about it. Well, unfortunately, there's not a treatment or cure out there for it. So once your plant does get infected with it, it will ultimately die and you will have to get rid of it. So I'm really sorry for the bad news, but it was still some great information, right? Well, um, I hope that the work week and verticillium doesn't cause you to wilt away, and I'll see you here next Wednesday. Bye.